My friend Espen Matisson and one of the top competitors in the world is going to share this one small guard retention detail that instantly massively improved my guard retention in one day. One of the most important principles in guard retention is that if I can get one of my feet in between my chest and his chest, I can always get my guard back. By using your own hand to pull your leg into position, it makes this massively easier. There's so many benefits to this. One obvious one is mobility. Even if you're less mobile, with your hand to support, you can pull your foot into positions that you normally couldn't. But maybe even more important is the fact that you'll have much more strength to do that. Often people are pushing your legs down to run around your guard, and you have to use the small muscles in your hips and core to try to fight back which can be very exhausting. When you use your hand to pull it in, not only will you have way more strength doing that, but you'll use way less energy, which makes it way less tiring and makes playing guard a lot more easy and honestly more fun. So now Espen's going to break down the basic mechanics and positioning of using this. And then we're going to go through the three main ways you can use this with tons of different examples of how you can use it to stop specific passes, as well as even setting up different attacks. One very important idea to keep in mind whenever you're doing the shin grab is the idea of rotating your hip. And the reason why I'm rotating my hip and opening my heels up is to make sure I'm using my hamstring instead of my thigh. If my toes are facing up, I'm gonna use my thigh, but I wanna be as strong as possible. So if I rotate, I'm gonna activate my hamstring. And additionally, when I'm grabbing, I become extremely strong and it's easier to recover. If you only rely on using the contraction of your muscles, it's hard to bring your knees in properly. And then it's possible for the person on top to start doing toriandos. If you're countering that by bringing your legs up even more, he can stack you. But by grabbing your own legs, you can actually bring the foot close to your chest. And that's really what you want whenever you're playing open guard because his goal is to get chest to chest and get connection. But as long as this leg is here, I'm protected. And the cool thing about being in this structure, it's hard for him to do toriandos and it's hard for him to stack. So it's very hard for him to get attacks going. Another detail to see is the fact that I'm actually using the knee under my armpit. This creates even more connection with my legs and upper body. So it's extremely hard now to disconnect my body like this. One, my hand is helping, but also the armpit and the knee. And here I'm really strong and it's hard for him to get through. Another perk with the shin grabbing is that it allows you to win the grip fighting easier. So they can try to grab you, but whenever I'm holding on the shin, it's harder to get a pan grip. And from here, my hands are in position to easily grab the sleeve where I can enter different forms of guards. A lot of people, when they recover without grabbing, they have a tendency to overthrow their leg, which can expose for chain passes. But whenever you grab your leg, I feel you get way more precision so you can hit the center line of recovery, which makes it easier to be in control and it's harder for him to chain. So the first specific examples we're gonna look at using are going to be using it on your outside leg to regain your guard. This is often used when you're defending against Toriando passes and your opponent is controlling your pants or ankle, when someone is trying to knee cut pass on you, or even to stop an over under guard pass. So now let's look at it when defending Toriando. From here, a lot of times, if you only rely on using your leg, it can be very hard to recover. And especially if they have a stiff arm, it's hard to go over. So what I would do here is to make a frame with my right hand, and now I'm gonna grab my shin. So even if it's extremely strong and try to pin my leg, it's fairly easy now to bring my leg in, make sure I recover to the center line, and go back to my guard. We can also use the shin grabbing to defend the knee cut. So independent if he's holding my leg or he's holding the collar, if he starts getting tight and it's hard to get your leg in, you can always frame with your right hand and now grab your shin, put it back in position, and from here establish a strong guard again. And if you have my pant leg, I'm gonna create a frame, and from here, same thing, grab my shin, go over his arm, and now put it back in position, and I have a strong structure now. It also works really good against the over-under pass. You create frame with your right hand on the shoulder, and from here it's hard to get your leg in if you're only relying on your dexterity. So I'm grabbing my shin, and from here I can put it back in position and recover my guard. The next method of using this is still using the outside leg, but now we're actually gonna feed it to the cross arm, which allows us to pull our foot into even further positions that allows us to retain. And we can even use that grip to frame at the same time with our elbow. This is particularly useful when you get turned away because often when you're facing the wrong direction, it's hard to put your foot into position to defend. But by feeding it to the cross arm, this makes it 
so much easier. And remember guys, if you're enjoying this content, the best way that you can help the channel is to like and leave a comment. So now we're gonna look at how we can use this in the leg drag. So he gets deep into a leg drag, which can be very hard to recover from. But if I use my elbow as a frame and now grab my shin with my left hand, I can feed it to my right hand. From here, I created a structure I like to call the circle frame because it's very hard to get through and it looks like a circle. Here, I can use my elbow on the ground to slide out, pull my foot in position and recover back to a guard. So one important detail to have in mind whenever you do the circle frame is you can reinforce by putting your left hand on your knee. The cool thing about this, now it's extremely hard for him to tilt you because if I don't have hair, he can turn your hip and now it's pretty hard to recover. But additionally, this hand enables me to now walk with the elbow. So as he's putting pressure, I can actually walk my hip, get the proper angle, and now it's fairly easy to kick out and escape the position. One extremely dangerous uh, pass is the tie drag. So whenever you cover a bit too much, they can dive under and start going for the side. But what I like to do here is to create frame with my right hand, grab on my left shin, and now I'm gonna feed it to my right hand. From here, I'm creating the circle frame which is very hard for him to get through. And again, elbow on the ground, where I can slide my hip out and go back to a guard. This also works great in the north-south. So if they ever go deep into a north-south, like this, what I like to do is to create frame with my elbow, get my right knee in and use my knee and elbow as frames. From here, I'm gonna grab my shin and feed it to my right hand. Again, I've created the circle frame. And from here, it's very hard for him to get through. I can start to pull my leg through where I can potentially start to attack the arm, or I can just spin out and go back to a guard. It's also a very strong way to escape side control. So I'm gonna bring my right hand on the inside, have a frame, and now grab my shin and feed it to my hand. Again, we have the circle, which is very hard to get through. And from here, I can start to push, use my elbow on the ground to slide out. And from here, recover back a guard. And the last way we're gonna be using this is on the inside leg both for defending against Toriando passes, defending against knee cut passes, but also to help us attack where we can use it to help us invert all the way through to attack our opponent's back. The inside grip works really good against the Toriando whenever you're strongly side tilted. So to pin my leg, from here I'm gonna grab my shin and notice how I'm framing on the, on the ground. Here it's quite easy to invert slightly and now bring your heel over, recover back and now find a guard. It's quite common that whenever you play the collar and sleeve or double sleeve that people are gonna try to pin the leg to the ground. So I'm playing here and he's pinning my leg to the ground. From here it can a lot of times be tricky to break because my leg is so extended. So what I like to do to recover a pin like this is to grab my shin, now bring my heel up and from here rotate back and then go back to my guard. It also works really good against the crazy dog pass. So from here, he's entering the crazy dog, really pinning my leg to the ground and can be extremely hard to recover this leg. But if you grab your shin, you can now rotate your heel, frame on the ground, and now start bringing your heel over his arm where you can go back to guard. One tricky position can be whenever someone runs around and they are in the north-south position. If I'm just laying here without using my hands, it's quite tricky to stay connected and it's easy to either get stacked or you're too open and they push you away and they get chest to chest connect connection. But if you grab your own legs, now it's easier to stay connected. I'm using the knee under my armpit, so I'm like a ball, so it's very hard to push. Also, additionally, if he tries to stack me, I can now use my hand as a frame and it's very hard for him to pin my leg to the ground and really get a proper stack to get some sort of passing. So now we're gonna look at how you can actually use this to set up different attacks. But real quick before that, if you guys are interested in more in-depth content and instructionals, be sure to check out my website. I put the link in the description. I have a lot more organized content broken down by chapters and lessons on there. Shin grab can also work really good for attacks. So say you're here trying to go for an ankle lock, he's defending well. Then you can start to threaten with the back tech by grabbing your shin. I'm gonna use my elbow on the ground, invert, and now it can be tricky to put my leg in position. So I'm gonna grab my shin and get it behind his knee. From here, I almost have like a matrix structure where I can bring my secondary leg in and now kick out and get back. Let me know if you guys have any questions regarding guard retention and if you have any requests for future videos. And as always, if you like the content, like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot.